Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the weekend. It's Saturday and uh, we started a new thing that's happening here. I, I guess I could tell you about it. It's, uh, it's what I do and it's what this channel is about. So we are taking the king of cameras, the Nikon F. It's just, oh, I just love this camera system and all of its prime lenses. So I'm taking, I'm taking the, this Nikon F and all of the prime lenses that I have for it. I have, uh, I won't go through all the numbers. I'll just tell you the millimeters. I have a 24 millimeter, 28 millimeter, 35 millimeter, 55 millimeter, the 50 millimeter. The, uh, I don't have the 85 yet, but that will be coming. I have the 105 millimeter. I have the 135 millimeter. I have the 200 millimeter and I have the 300 millimeter. And of course you've seen, I have, uh, you know, a couple of zooms uh, in there as well. The, but, uh, the main, we're talking primes here. So, uh, all the way through the 85 will show up, uh, within a few months. It's a, you know, it costs money. All this stuff costs money. So, uh, what I've decided to do is I'm doing a special, a series. It, it, it could end up being, I'm thinking, uh, it started off being just maybe a two part series, but now it's turning into a three part series. And, uh, and I discussed it with a few people and we're probably going to carry it on to, uh, about uh, six parts, maybe eight parts into the summer. So uh, it won't be this, the, 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 the parts won't be one after another. You know, there might be the first two or the first three, and then all of a sudden there'll be breaks and then, uh, you know, episode four and stuff like that. So we're taking all the prime lenses and this camera we're going to take a few different films. Right now, we're using uh, the uh, Lady Grey 400, which is basically a Fomapan 400. And uh, we're using the meter. I also have, as you know, the, wa the waist level viewfinder. And all these prime lenses. And we're doing some more extreme street photography and, uh, and basically carrying that extreme street photography into a tourists in your area series so uh so that's what's coming with the nikon f because it's 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 my tribute to the nikon f and its, its series of lenses and accessories and uh you know no matter what camera you use you need to respect this camera especially if you're using an slr because this is it this is why this is the greatest camera in the world in my eyes and you're never going to change my opinion on that because it is it, it knocked every camera out of, out into the water is uh, all the cameras that were uh we're, we're on top of the market before, by the time these guys released Nippon Kogaku released the Nikon F and its series of lenses back in 1959 on, it was all over for all the other cameras. It's there. And, and a lot of them are still just a trickle where they, they might act big and, 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 and stuff, but it's not, they're not the, uh, it, but, uh, anyways, I feel very fortunate to own this system and a lot of the lenses and, uh, and, and some of the accessories that came with it. I, uh, I know the adaptability of this camera. You're also going to see in this series and, uh, and we're going to call it, we're going to call this series extreme F. That's what this series will be called the extreme F series <clears throat> because there, there's stuff planned for this camera that will make boggle your mind that what we can do with this camera so uh, yeah i hope you uh all uh, join me for this uh wonderful uh adventure extreme nikon f and the adventures 
<laughs> just, I'm just in love with this camera. I, I like, I really like all my cameras. I like, I really, I love that the, the Mamaya Flex TLR, the the C2. It's just uh, that's another one that's that's coming with its own series, and and both basically released around the same time. For the same reasons, the the engineers and the builders are the same reasons. They just wanted to put stuff out that was good and for professional use and, and that you could expand on. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, this meter on this thing is, it's dialed in. And, you know, don't let anybody tell you that these meters are no good because you're seeing it. We're, we're not using the spot meter. We've used the spot meter to dial this meter in with, uh, if you look back, uh, quite a few uh, uh, <clears throat> videos back where I used all my digital cameras and everything here one day to dial this meter in to exactly the way I want it to shoot. So, uh, yeah, I love this camera. There's, a, there's a, The feeling you get from this camera is... Uh, is uh you get a feeling you, you there's some emotion evolved and then when you see the results from the lenses <laughs> you go holy smokes so uh basically same age as me uh, uh you know a little bit older i'm i'm 61 coming 62 so you're looking at something that's 60 years old here the, some of these lenses are uh, over 60 60 years old uh, 63 years old, 62 years old. So, uh, you know, that's another special thing. The, the age, the age with this camera is right in there with me being born. So it's, it was, you know, I traveled through my whole entire life for uh, 60, almost 62 years now. And I imagine all the stuff that I've seen since I was, uh, you know, born and was able to comprehend and uh, and the same with this. Imagine all the stuff that these cameras have seen and these lenses have seen. No matter what lens you buy, you're and and, and if you're buying a lens that's from 1958 or 1962 by the serial number, imagine everything that that lens has seen. Right? It's like it's just like it's it's amazing. So if you take a person like me that's the same age born in 61, and all the things I've seen in life, these lenses have seen that too. These lenses have bought us, opened the whole world. This camera system with the lenses bought us the whole world. It, 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 and it, they, they're still working today. I'm still doing it today. And there's tons of other people still doing it today. There's collectors that have snapped a lot of these up and have them in cabinets. And, 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 you know, keeping them like fine art or, or jewelry. And they are art. The, the, this is definitely art. It took them quite a few years to develop this camera and some of the lens systems. So, uh, you know, I just want to tell you that uh, these are great cameras. And it, it might, it's not for everybody. Like, don't get me wrong. If, if you're not a film camera person or... Or, 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 you know, you need, you need to know cameras and you need to be a camera operator in order to operate these cameras. If you're used to just point and shoot brand new cameras and stuff and you pick up one of these and uh, it's going to be quite the learning experience. I can tell you that right now. But the, uh, the beauty of this machine is it's just, uh, I find myself holding this camera a lot just to hold it same as the Nikon FE same as the Nikkor mat <laughs> you know the Mamaya Flex the Mamaya Flex that's sitting over here I hold it and that's why it's sitting over here because that's where I sit if you guys seen where I sit and watch my YouTube channel or YouTube channels that I watch you'll be see you'll see Nikon F4s you'll see 300s you'll see a lot of cameras around that circle because I actually love Nikon cameras and I love photography and I love cameras period. I really, really, really like the Mamaya Flex. That's another special camera to me. The Mamaya Flex and this to me are pretty close. So, uh, there we go.
I did my talking and my uh, introduction. It's gonna, it was going to be a long one, I say, I say. But uh, here's the first the, in the series, in the uh, Extreme Nikon F, the Extreme F series. Foam Pan 400, Blade of Grey, Blade of Grey 400 by Lamography. That's it, right? <laughs> I hope you enjoy the photos. I'm uh, sort of running out of things to take pictures of here too. Uh, so I'm using different lenses on this. Today I used, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going out and I'm actually changing lenses. So uh, that's another thing. So I am using all these lenses. Today I used the 135, the uh, 35, the 24, and the 200 are the lenses that I use today. Um it's it's this is the time of the year where everything's dirty and and the spring is just around the corner so the snow is starting to get dirty and and and, and you, it's it's getting to be a challenge in a small town on glare ice icy sidewalks and that to uh, to go out it's still minus 17 minus 20 sometimes to take some different photography for you guys so basically what you're going to see for the next few uh, uh, at least this episode is, is, is a lot of the same stuff. Um, I'm trying the best I can to get some different compositions in there, but, uh, you, you know, it's, it's the time of the year up north here in the small town, and sometimes you're just not feeling it, so you just do the best you can, and that's okay too. So, uh, we're real. Like, subscribe, click the bell, Nikon F. Dream F. Here we go. Take it easy, everyone.